right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. And now we're going to see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 227 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fun. Ready. Start of this fight. I'm anxious. Oh! Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Going now, nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, massive head kick there. 
there. We'll see if he can finish. He blocks the punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? A uh, little single collar tie there. on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. Big strike in your point. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Tonight, DC connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get ups have been there for him all night. but just misses. And they separate. Nice try. Now connects with a right. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Voicing its appreciation after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Oh, 
punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed that he throws is crazy. It's a beautiful fastball jab with beating. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice trip to change the level. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, so again, the fighters clean. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect place to on that shot. Oh, he might be out. Good right hand. Oh, straight right. Tonight he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Got clip with the right hand. Big kick land. Three minutes now to go in round two. Just out of range with that left hook. He's in the clinch. This is one of his strongest spots. How does he proceed? Takedown defense holds up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Hey, Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Just misses with the jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. Oh! Beautiful diving strike land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Lands with the right hand. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice right hand. Trying to recover full guard there. Right punches there. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. 30 seconds to go in round two. Single collar tie now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie plump. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness for striking his...
right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's not able to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that it's going to be a stand-up fight? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Take down, no problem. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Needs another huge knee. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the third round. He's going the winner by knockout and still. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that one. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.